Elizabeth Payne and Jennifer Erdman were out together Thursday night, and that's the last time anyone remembers seeing them. She just told me she was going to go home, and she never got home. And it's just been a search ever since. We've been passing these posters out everywhere. Well, last thing is, you know, I love you, and you know. Yeah, we both told her that we both love her, and that we would see her, but we never got to see her again. The search for two people missing for three days has apparently ended in tragedy this evening. This afternoon, authorities found the nude bodies of two teenage girls in North Even Houston. in a city where a case of homicide no longer has a numbing effect on those who hear about it, this case is a real gut-wrencher. So many questions. Not the least of which is what killed those children? Who could have done such a terrible thing? Was Peter a follower or a leader? I don't think he was a leader. Have you ever watched like a, a show like on National Geographic. We've been questioning at least five suspects. It's similar to what lions do to gazelles. Police have filed capital murder charges against teenage boys. Jenny and Elizabeth were the gazelles, and I'll just leave it like that. In positively the wrong place at the wrong time. This is horrible, absolutely horrible. You can't script a president of the United States intervening. You can't script that the Texas Court of Criminal Appeals would use this case to decide whether the uh, lethal injection constitutes cruel and unusual punishment. You can't script the Supreme Court would decide 17-year-olds don't know that you shouldn't kill somebody. Look at me. You can't script the, the impact that these two families have had on victims' rights. Why can't they put a belt around their neck? Why can't they stop them down with their feet like that, stomp them down the ground till they're dead? And why not lay them later for an hour and let them die? I can still remember that day. It just took so much for me. Introduce yourself and how you're related to this case. My name is uh, Benancio Medina Jr. Uh, I was the 14-year-old kid that was involved in, in this case. Just broke my heart and a piece of me is not here anymore. It's when part of me is still with my daughter. It's just, you know, still hard to believe that happened and it's been that long.